Hello students. Well, this is the last section in our introduction to the Pythagorean theorem. And this uh, is about a topic called Pythagorean triples, which is an interesting little application or little snippet of the study of Pythagoras. Now, one interesting fact about Pythagorean triples is that they've been known about for a long, long time. So this picture here is of a clay tablet from Babylon and it's dated back to somewhere between 1900 BC and 1600 BC. So you're talking three and a half thousand to four thousand years ago. Um, humans knew about Pythagorean triples. So what exactly is a Pythagorean triple? Well, a Pythagorean triple, also known as a Pythagorean triad, is just a set of three natural numbers, which means um, whole numbers bigger than zero such that the largest number c squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the two smaller numbers. So the most commonly known Pythagorean triple or Pythagorean triad, which the Egyptians knew and used to help them construct the pyramids is three, four, five. So we always write the three numbers inside brackets and in order from smallest to biggest. So effect will be the first number is always A, the second number is B, the third number is C. So let's just check to see if this actually is a Pythagorean triad. So we write the Pythagorean theorem, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Now because we're not sure yet, we put a question mark above the equal sign. We replace C with a 5. We replace the A with the 3 and a B with the 4. And that gives us 25 equals 9 plus 16. And because the left side and the right side are equal, 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean triad or a Pythagorean triple. Another common one is um, 6, 8, 10. So once again, we will, um, I'll, I'll save some of these setting out. I'll just go straight to substituting. Is it true that 10 squared equals 6 squared plus 8 squared? Because that has to be true if this is actually a Pythagorean triple. Well, 10 squared is 100. 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64, 100 equals 100, yes, in fact I should have ticked that one as well, and therefore 6, 8, 10 is also a Pythagorean triple. Okay, what I'd like you to do is to confirm that each of these three sets of numbers forms a Pythagorean triple. So stop the video. In fact, I just did the one on the left, so you only have to do the one on the right. So prove to me or de demonstrate for yourself that 7, 24, 25 is a Pythagorean triple. And then stop the video, then restart it once you've done that. Okay, let's see how you went. So once again, we'll start with the Pythagorean theorem. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Question mark, because we're not sure if it is yet. C is the largest number, so C is 25. A is 7. B is 24. So 25 squared, I know is 625. 7 squared, I know is 49. 24 squared, I should know, but I can't remember. So I'll go ahead and use the calculator on that one. 24 squared, 576. And 625 equals... 49 plus 576. If I do that in my head, guess what? I get 625. I should have my question marks to there. And then I can tick that one. So 72425 is another Pythagorean triple. 
Okay, here's a little bit of a problem for you to solve. Again, I think I'd like you to have a go at trying to do this first, and then uh, I'll go ahead and do it. So find the missing number in each of these Pythagorean triples. So you know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared for each of these. Find the missing number. Note that the numbers are always written smallest to biggest. Okay, go ahead and have a try, and then restart the video once you've done that. Okay, doke. Well, because the um, numbers are in order A, B, C, I'm trying to find C. So I can write C squared equals A squared plus B squared. I know that A is 9. I know that B is 12. Oops, what have I done? Let me, oh, 9 squared. Okay, 9 squared plus 12 squared. C squared equals 81 plus 144. Add those together. That gives me 225. Take the square root of both sides. Again, this is stuff you've done a few times already. And that tells me C is equal to 215. So I shouldn't have put that C there. Let me erase that. 9, 12, 15. So C is equal to 15. In the second one, of course, what we're missing is the letter, sorry, the value for A. So we start the same way as before. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. C we know is 17. A is what I don't know. B is equal to 15. Now 17 squared is 289, I hope. That's what I think it is. A we don't know. Um, 15 squared is 225. Subtract off the 225 from both sides. And those cross out. I'll write the a squared on the left. And we can say 28 take 22 is 60. 9 take 5 is 4. And if a squared is 64, a has to be 8. So another Pythagorean triple is 8, 15, 17. And once again, these numbers do have to be whole numbers, so you can't have fractions or decimals, and of course, they must be positive numbers. Okay, we'll stop the video there, and then we'll continue our exploration of Pythagorean triples in the next video.